Yo, 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 it's Overflow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? First things first about the gameplay. It's gonna be some new carrier exo zombies from the Supremacy DLC pack for Advanced Warfare. It's pretty awesome. I hope that you guys definitely enjoy that in the background, and I hope that you guys really enjoy the story that I'm about to tell you guys. It's gonna be absolutely crazy. Um, it's about the time that I got catfished. Man, oh my gosh. Jeez. This is going to be an embarrassing story, but I think that you guys should you should enjoy it, and hopefully you get a few laughs at my expense, you know what I'm saying? And if we can hit 300 likes on this video, I will upload a bonus story time this week for you guys. Um, normally, I only upload one story time a week, but if we hit 300 likes, I'll upload another one. Also, I'm going to be uploading my birthday on Omega video here in the next couple days. It's going to be awesome. If you guys didn't know, my birthday was last Friday, June 5th. And I had a great time. You guys, so many of you, I just want to say thank you. So many of you guys came and wished me a happy birthday, and I really do appreciate it. It's really cool. It's like I got my family and my friends in real life that tell me happy birthday, and then I can get on Twitter or get on YouTube and just have hundreds of people, thousands of people wishing me a happy birthday. It's it's so awesome, you guys. So thank you very much. Let's get right into the story. What's up, Flows? Don't you know? I love Oh, you also don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, always linked in the description below. And let's get it, you guys. So this happened back when I was like 14 or 15. I think I was about 14 years old. And this was, I think that I've been catfished a couple times, you guys. But this was the first time that I definitely for sure got catfished. And it was so ridiculous. I'm going to, God, take it a trip down memory lane, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is going to be pretty funny. I'm, <coughs> I'm sure that my cousins are actually going to... Remember this if they watch my if, if they watch this video they're gonna remember the time that I'm talking about I have not slept yet man I was up all night um, at the strip I live in Las Vegas and I was out for my birthday and then I slept for like two hours and now I'm up again I'm recording this commentary I'm gonna nap right after this and then watch the UFC fight but let let's talk about the story okay stop getting distracted you're tired you're tired man you gotta get some sleep after you tell the story all right I'm all psyched up I'm super ready so. This happened back when I was like 14, and I, me and my cousins used to get on this website. It was called Habo Hotel. I know that it's still around, but I'm not sure how relevant it is anymore. I guess the closest thing that I seen that seems like it would be um, Club Penguin. So that kind of looks similar. So in Habo Hotel, basically what it is is you build your own little avi, your own little character, and then you can go around and like meet other little characters. And everybody gets their own room, and you can make your room like a party room or whatever. Um, you get like your own furniture in your little house and all this stuff. It's, it's really, really cool. It's actually a lot of fun. And in addition to it being a lot of fun, you got to meet a lot of people your age on there. So for me, I ran into a lot of people that were teenagers, right, at the time. And so one of these specific people was a girl. And I was talking to her. You know, we were doing, um, we were doing DMs. I slid into her DMs, the hobo version of them. You know, we were just direct messaging each other and ended up getting her her email um, because I don't even think that... No, I think that I did have a MySpace, but I was like, nah, I'm sending straight to email. I don't want her to actually know who I am whatsoever yet. Um, I think I ended up adding her on MySpace, though, as well. And so anyways, we were like emailing and then I think we used inst like MSN Instant Messenger or some weird stupid thing, AIM, some weird old messenger thing. And I was messaging with her, and we were talking for a minute, found out that she also lived in Las Vegas. And so with that being said, Halloween was coming up, and I was talking to her, I was like, hey, since you live in Las Vegas, you know, we should probably meet up. Like, we, there's haunted houses, we should go to a haunted house together. And, you know, she had seen a picture of me, and she was like, yeah, you're pretty, you're pretty attractive. And I was like, and I had seen a picture of her, and she was pretty attractive. And um, she also had huge boobs, so I was like, oh, that's a win-win for me. You guys know that I'm a booby guy? If a girl's got boobs... It's just, it's it's good. Everything's good, <laughs> and it's awesome. And I actually, the main thing that I was, like, super excited about, obviously, especially when you're, like, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, you, basically your whole life as a man, you're always, like, really um, sexually charged, I guess would be the best word. Like, especially when you're, like, 13, 14, 15, like, you're just horny all the time. It's ridiculous. So, anyways, i seen, um... This girl, and I, I ended up getting her to send me a picture of her in a bra. So, and I still remember the picture too. It was like just kind of a close up picture. She had taken a selfie, cut her face out of the picture, 
had her shirt up and she had a white bra on and she just had such nice boobies and I was like this is awesome I'm gonna get to meet this girl we're gonna go to a haunted house together and it's gonna be absolutely dope and so <laughs> anyways I figured you know what me and my cousins are going and typically when we went we went with all of our friends so I wasn't scared like it was gonna be I, I was pretty sure that it was a girl I wasn't scared that it was gonna be some like pedophile that was gonna come booty booty touch me or anything because I would I was gonna be with you know my friends and my cousins and everybody and normally there's like whenever we went out we always had like groups of like 10 people that went like we would invite all these girls it would be me and my cousins maybe two guy friends and then like 10 girls and um, that's just how it went and so anyways I just figured you know what it will be fine I'll invite her so I invited this girl I remember her name too her name was Emily quote unquote I don't even know if that was really her name but we ended up talking for a long time and we were you know plan on meeting at this Halloween place anyways I ended up going to the haunted house you know she sent me the picture of her in a bra I was like man I'm about to get some booby touching in forget about the haunted house we could I'm not even gonna go in there I'm just gonna grab some boobies or maybe I'll go in there and then use this being scared of the haunted house as a reason to accidentally grab her boob and be like oh I'm, oh my god I'm sorry I was so scared <laughs> but anyways we get to the haunted house place I'm messaging this girl I believe I started texting her too and um anyways never shows up stops texting me once I get there she was like yeah I'm, I'm gonna be there and then I never talked to her or heard from her the rest of the night never saw her right never seen this girl and so anyways I get back you know I'm like kind of bummed but I still had a great time and I get back and like I try to hit her up on hollow hotel try to hit her up on my email um, and then she says like she was just too embarrassed and she thought she was like I didn't think that you would really like me in person But I, you know I was there, but I didn't think you would actually like me in person So I ended up just you know not doing it or whatever and um, I was like why do you not think that I would like you in person? She's like well I don't think that I actually look good in person, you know I, I think that uh, my pictures, you know, I, I look really different in person. I was like are you what? And so anyways, I ended up, like, she ended up just stopping, uh, you know, she stopped talking to me. And so I was like, dude, I, I don't understand, like, I don't understand if maybe, what if I saw her there but didn't recognize her? Or what if she was, like, totally catfishing me with, like, fake pictures? Um, or maybe she showed me a fake picture of her face or something, and then when she saw me, she didn't actually want to see me because she was scared that I would be like, oh, you catfish. Or maybe she saw me and she thought I was actually ugly in person. And that's why, or maybe she was actually a 47 year old man. And um, once he saw me with all my friends, he realized that his catfish plot failed. Either way, I got stood up or catfished or something super hard. Ended up never talking to that girl again, but it didn't, it didn't teach me any lessons. And I kept going after girls, even if they were possible catfishes. And um, shoot, man, I have some hilarious catfish stories that I should probably tell you guys in the future but so yeah real cliffhanger there man nothing happened man the girl just ended up never showing up then like kind of admitting that maybe she wasn't the girl in the pictures but then I don't even know and then just stopped talking to me so that was like that was just a weird occurrence and I I don't know I think that I still have that picture of her her boobies in my old email somewhere if I can remember the password I'll find it and spread it all over the internet because she let me down no nah, just kidding I would never do that unless I felt like it but seriously though, I won't. So anyways, you guys, that's it for the story today. Pretty weird. Got catfished, I guess. Or got stood up slash possibly almost uh, a child abducted by a crazy old pedophile. Or maybe it was a real girl. I don't, even, I don't even know. I have no closure with that. So Emily, if you're out there, or fake Emily, Habo Hotel Emily, if you're out there, hit me up. Let me know what happened. <laughs> Love you guys a ton. Let's smash 300 likes on this. Subscribe if you're new, you guys. Just passed 31,500 subscribers on the way to 32,000. I love you guys. You guys are absolutely beautiful. And I am over and down.